hello guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this practical video i will guide you for the construction of floor beam which length is 24 by 26 feet guys you can see the length between two column is 26 feet so now let me guide you for its steel reinforcement details also with some technical terms let's get start guys if you have any question related to this short video so you can comments i will respond you if you see guys the size of this floor beam is 12 by 18 inches width is 12 inches depth is 18 inches as you can see guys we have two extra steel rods at the middle of this floor beam construction to resist negative bending moment if you see guys at the other side at the distance of l by 4 to resist negative bending moment we provided two extra steel rods if you see this is the middle mid of this beam which is 13 feet if you see guys this is floor beam steel reinforcement width of this beam is 12 inches and depth is 18 inches they used here 60 grade steel rods which length is 60 feet if you see guys we have four steel rods at the bottom dia is 16 millimeter in upper portion if you see we have two steel rods dia is same which is 16 millimeter that's why because we provided four steel rods at the bottom portion of this beam because steel is weak and uh, actually concrete is weak in tension so therefore we provided two extra steel rods at the middle of this beam we have four bottoms bar and upper portion this is compression zone concrete is stronger in upper portion which is compression zone if you see guys the spacing between two stirrups are about seven inches and they used here eight millimeter die of steel rod for each stirrup if you see guys at the distance of l by four where we have negative bending moment so the spacing is about five to six inches after l by four we increase the spacing of stirrups which is up to seven inches look at here and here the spacing is about five to six inches guys you can see clearly after completion of steel reinforcement at the bottom of these four steel steel rods they will provide concrete cover which is about 40 mm or 1.5 inches at the bottom to provide proper concrete cover if you see guys we have two sections here at the bottom we have four steel rods in upper portion we have also four steel rods that's why because we have two middle bars which are extra the place of this extra steel rods they can also provide it or they they can provide the crank bar are bent up bar to resist negative bending moment but crank bar is economical compared to extra steel rods but remember one thing more that extra steel rods are more stronger than crank bar or extra steel rods if you see at the distance of l by 4 the spacing is closely the dia is same which is 16 millimeter if you see the first stirrup is placed at the distance of about six inches so it should be placed at the distance of minimum two inches if you see the length between two columns is 26 feet so therefore guys if you see at the distance of 6.5 feet we have l by 4 distance where we have negative bending moment so therefore the spacing of stirrups are closely provided compared to its middle also we don't have extra steel rod at this place that's why because we have positive bending moment and bottom portion we have four steel rods but in upper portion guys you can see we have negative bending moment at the distance of l by four already we provided two extra steel rods so this is one of the important practical video for you people to know about extra steel rods and size of beam also steel reinforcement what is negative bending moment what is positive bending moment hope this short video can help you guys you can see remember guys one thing more if you see the hooks are provided on 90 degree but it should be provided on 135 degree to resist with earthquake because this is not the proper rules regulation for the stirrups hooks and the hooks length should not be less than three inches already they did three inches it's okay but only they bend on 90 degree but it should be provided on 135 degree this is the junction between beam and column as you can see in this short video Hope this short video can help you. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.